Hi, and welcome to this introduction video about Document Capture version 4.0. My name is Klaus Lundström, Product Manager at Continuous Software and MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NV. This video is on Microsoft Dynamics NV 2015, but Document Capture version 4.0 is supported in all versions from Dynamics NV 3.7 to 2015. In this video, we'll first see that we have received a few purchase invoices. We will send these documents into Microsoft Dynamics NAV, and for this, we'll use Document Capture. Document Capture receives documents sent to an email address. Then the documents are OCR processed and ready for importing into NAV. In this video, I'm using our new Cloud OCR offering introduced in Document Capture version 4.0. But you can also install the OCR engine on-premise just like in earlier versions of Document Capture. But with our new Cloud OCR, you only need a username and password from Continue, and you are set to go. When the documents have been OCR processed in the Cloud, they are ready to be downloaded to Microsoft Dynamics NAV. In NAV, we will recognize the necessary fields in the documents, and when we have completed this task, we will then register the documents for further processing in NAV. At last, we will send the documents for approval. You will see the possibility for approvers to approve documents in our new enhanced web portal released for Document Capture 4.0. In our web portal, approvers can approve documents without having access to NAV. So let us begin so we can see how Document Capture works. As you can see, I have here three purchase invoices I would like to get into Dynamics NAV. These three purchase invoices are from the same vendor and rather simple and straightforward to get into NAV with Document Capture. The three purchase invoices look very similar, but differ in the invoice number, document date, description, and amount. If you'd like to see more advanced importing with Document Capture, check out our videos about matching against existing orders and how to recognize lines on a document. So now we're ready to email our three documents to Document Capture and specifically to our Cloud OCR. When you sign up for Document Capture and Cloud OCR, Continue will provide the email which you will send all your documents. If you want to use a company email for this, you simply set up a rule which forwards all emails sent to, for example, purchase invoices at chronos.com to the email provided by Continue. The purchase invoices have now been sent to the Continue Cloud OCR, and if we refresh, we can see that the three documents are in queue for OCR. If we refresh again, we can see that the three documents are ready to be imported and in this case also downloaded since we're using the Cloud OCR. When documents have been downloaded, they will be erased in the Cloud and only available in your system. Now the files have been downloaded and to see these, we select Edit Journal. Here we can see the three documents from Lewis Home Furniture. To the right, we can see the actual document. So what we need to do now is to recognize fields on the document. Since we have not received any documents from Lewis Home Furniture before, we will be asked to create a template. This template will be a copy of the master template, but any changes done now will be unique to the Lewis Home Furniture template. So document capture gets smarter and smarter since your modifications will be remembered for the next time you receive documents from Lewis Home Furniture. For now, we will make two changes. First, we will apply a GL account number. We will use 8330, which is the other computer expenses account, and mark this as a default for Lewis Home Furniture template. And then we will tell Document Capture where to find the posting description. We register the document and the purchase invoice is created for us by Document Capture. We will send an approval request for this purchase invoice and return to the journal. This time, I will recognize fields on both remaining documents from Lewis Home Furniture. Now, Document Capture will detect that a template exists for Lewis Home Furniture. We then no longer need to enter the GL account number or inform Document Capture where to find the posting description. I will now register the two documents. I will not select Register, but Register Batch. Notice that the purchase invoices are not opened in this case. I will though still want to send an approval request for these purchase invoices. So I navigate to Purchase Invoices and send approval request for the two remaining documents. You can configure Document Capture to automatically both register the documents and send to approval. For the sake of this demo, I will now send the approvers an email so they can take action on the documents which needs approval. 
This can of course also be automated. The approver will receive an email with a list of the documents for approval. The approver will have a direct link to the web portal where the documents can be approved or rejected. Here the approver selects a document and can see all information created in a V for this purchase invoice, including the actual document sent to document capture. The approver can approve a document, the approver can split lines if necessary, and can of course also reject the document and give a good reason why the purchase invoice is being rejected. The approver will return to the list when all documents have been completed. Back in NEV, we can see that the approver has approved two documents. We can see that the approver has made a split on one of the documents. And we can see that one document has been rejected and the reason for this. Now we will post the documents which have been released and we are done. We of course have to take special care of the remaining document, especially when we have no more money. I hope you enjoyed this introduction video of Document Capture 4.0. I'm Klaus Lundström, Product Manager at Continue and MVP for Microsoft Dynamics NME.